Right, I put the, the bronze nut in my small four jaw chuck. I put some thin aluminium shim behind just to protect it, and I've set the centre up dark as a type of wiggler. And I've got a clock gauge on it. You can see how far it's running. All we'll do is find the highest point, which is there. So we need to tighten that jaw. Once again, we'll find the highest point, which is there. So we'll need to loosen off this time a little bit and tighten. High one again, that one. High one, which is that one. High one again, which is this one. So we'll loosen off. Now we're getting somewhere near now. Made it worse. That's pretty good. Right, I've actually got a clock here to do insides in, so I want it any better than that. That's what I'll be using. That's within a couple of tenths, if that. And zero. That's even less than a fanny's hair. Turn the tip onto a nice new, nice new corner. What I need is some tool holders, and I'll use the these sides of the cutter. The band good ones use those two corners, but these two sides are wasted. Um, I'll have to find a tool holder that uses that two sides. Right, next one we need to machine this little register here. It's five mils deep from that face to there, and it's nine point five millimeters in diameter. So I'm going to set the zero of the DRO as soon as the tool touches off and I'll use that to get the 5mm. This is a real critical dimension. Uh, I've got to get this right. Warm the rear up a little bit. Okay, I'm just going to touch it off. Which is there. See where all the Right, we we'll stop there. I'll leave it two tenths under five just so I can finish it. Right, this will be the last cut. I want to take the shoulder down to the full 5mm as well. This 
a very light tramp out of there on the edge of this. That's it. Right, the thread in there is quarter width off. So we're drilling the top that quarter width and we're nearly, we're nearly finished. Right, the top and drill for quarter width is 5.1. Five mil drill, so I'm going to do half an inch of depth. Made half an inch. <coughs> right, there's no way you're going to power top quarter weight into there. You sound not. So we'll just carefully feed it in by hand. Right, and the plug top. That's it. Very happy. I've got a nice straightforward little machining job here. It's a quick change tool post of a, a small lathe, and all he wants us to do is machine a register on there so it fits into there, and then make a new a new T bolt. T bolt goes into a into a slot in there. It amount is in the four jaw chuck, centering on that and just machine a, a register, just a couple of mil just so it locates on there and pivots on there. The idea you'll be to bore this out and put a bush in to fit in there but there isn't enough metal on it. A little cheap and cherry quick change tool post made out of aluminium. No doubt it'll do the job what he wants it to do. It's a very quick and easy way of centering something that's got a hole in it already. I simply pull it flat against the back of the four jaw chuck and when to send that into the hole and that will centralise it. Then we need some packing in because this is soft aluminium. Put a little bit of packing in there each jaw and turn. And just a gentle, a gentle nip on each jaw. Last one. Put a clock gauge on here just to get it finally centered in. Like 
and get it up here so I can get the camera to see it. Yeah, we'll just wood set the fire, I think. Definitely set for that. Right, the size I'm looking for is 30 mil. with the cart we're on 30 so when that says zero will be right so on six mil of it force it on look at the fans there beautiful Just gonna break that edge. Okay, so the tool post fits in there quite nicely, good fit, I'm pleased with that. Now we need a retaining stud for it. And basically that bolt with two flats machined on and the head reducing thickness it'll do the job. Plenty long enough. That's just long enough. But by the time it's set in, it will be long enough. And I might even make a little, a nice little nut with a, a handle on. Something similar to mine. Bangor tools, I've got a circuit on the 
He's doing the job for us. Right, we're going to try. Can't you see how under there? Certainly plenty, plenty of threads sticking down. I think I will make a little, a little drum nut with a little rod in it. You can, you can alter where it, where it stops by putting washers underneath. Exactly the same as I've done with mine. Right, that's all for this week's um, Sunday Night Night Cap. Thank you all for tuning in. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. Um, we'll look forward to seeing you all again very soon. Thanks. Bye.